Diet. A reasonable line of life maintains the harmony of the elements in the body. As soon as the disharmony in the effects of elements becomes manifest, the elements being extant in a weakened or prevailing way, special measures have to be taken as far as food is concerned to carry the element back to their normal course of action, at least to influence them favourably in this way. Therefore, the most varying diets are prescribed for specific cases. If the disturbance of the elements is such as to render visible this disharmony, it's no longer solely a disharmony, but we have to deal with an illness. This will mean that more drastical remedies will be necessary to re-establish the indispensable harmony. Provided we desire to bring the body back to its normal function and complete recovery. All the curing methods known up to this day have been based on this idea. These include the therapy employs such effects as bathing, herbs, massages, etc. Sure. The allopathist utilizes concentrated medicines which are causing the effects corresponding to the elements and are destined to repair the health. Now the homeopathist brings to life the contrasting element according to the to achieve the balance of all that is in danger in conformity with the polarity laws. The electro homopathist by the use of his remedies, influences the electrical and magnetical fluids directly to balance the disorderly elements according to the kind of illness by a suitable reinforcement of these fluids. And so each curing method serves the purpose of restoring the disturbed equipoise of the elements. By studying these influences of the elements in our body, the magnetotherapist or magnetizer has far more possibilities of influencing the body through his powers, especially if he's capable to awaken the electrical and the magnetic fluids consciously in himself, increasing and transferring it into the part of the body which has become into disharmony. So far the total functions of the body have been stated in detail, but each part of the body is also in analogy with the effect of the elements, influenced by a specific element which finds its expression in the polarity of the responsive part of the body. Some organs, from the inside to the outside, own the electrical fluid and from the outside to the inside they possess the magnetical fluid which affects the functions in the entire organism in this way. In other organs the reverse process takes place. The electrical fluid operating from the outside to the inside and the magnetical one from the inside to the outside. Now this knowledge of the polar emanation is called, in the hermetic art, the occult anatomy of the body. And the knowledge of the effect of this occult anatomy is extremely important for every adept who wants to know his body and be able to influence it and control it. With the help of this occult anatomy, and the key of the tetrapolar magnet, the adept may compile further analogies if he wanted. The alchemist will recognize that the human body represents a genuine ethanol in which the most perfect alchemical process, the great work or the preparation of the philosopher's stone is visibly performed.